Hey there YouTube, this is PolarBear084 and this is the second episode in my YouTube series A Bear's Guide to Hunting which involves Monster Hunter Freedom Unite um, For those of you who didn't see the last video um, it's basically born out of uh, the tutorials that are already on YouTube for the large monsters in this game um, They're good, but the only issue with them, that I have with them, is that they use weapons and armor that you don't have at this certain stages of the game. I mean, most of the armor they use, you get after you defeat the monster you're stuck on. And so I decided, how about I treat it almost like a let's play? Not exactly, because don't worry, that would just be unspeakably dull. No, um, I thought I would just save the armor and weapon I used that when I killed a certain monster. This monster today is the Cephadrome, um, and the armor in question is uh, Battle Set and Snake Bite. Nothing added, just that. Um, and then show you guys me doing it again, you know, because I think that would be, you know, a little bit more helpful. I'd be able to give you a few more extra tips. I'd be able to see what things to do, and more than likely what things not to do. Um, oh, one thing you do want to do is you definitely want to paintball him if you can actually hit him. Okay, so this is the Cephadrone, giant fish. Um, first thing you want to know, weak to thunder. It's very important. However, um, not expecting you to have elements at this time of the game, I don't. The only element I do have is um, ice, which is of no use. But yeah, um, elements become very important as the game progresses. If you don't know what an element is, it's just sometimes you'll find a sword or a weapon that will have an attribute to it. Um, one of the, it's either an element or an ailment, and though all those things sound the same, they most certainly are not. Um, an element uh, is extra damage of a certain type that is added to your weapon. So thunder would be the thunder type, uh, fire would be fire, um, and there's also ice and one more. I can't remember what it is though. Um, thunder, fire, ice, th water as well. There's water as well. I think there might be, oh there's dragon, but that's very special. I never really understood it. I'll have to look it up. But um, yeah, so that what that does is add damage to your weapons. Whereas the ailments which come in poison, paralysis, um, uh, what else? Poison, paralysis. I know there's a couple of others. I really should have done my homework before I did this. I'll include them in the description. And if I don't, give me a quick slap. Remind me. I will put them in. But they basically, the higher the number, the more chance there is of poisoning or paralysing a monster with each strike. And uh, that's the difference. So he's weak to the thunder element, which is good. And also, all monsters have a certain place where they are hurt more. For him, it's on his stomach. Um, so now that you know easy ways of how to defeat him, green sharpness is important if you can get it, especially with the sword and shield, considering it's not as sharp as other weapons, like the long sword, for example. Um, because uh, it does more damage, and also that way you don't bounce off of him like I might do now. That, yeah, just like that, like the yellow sparks. See that? Because um, then you can't continue your combo. It stops you for a second. Uh, all bad things. Um, a good reason to pick this set if you're a sword swordsman: uh, sharpening increase. That took me a second. No sitting around like a sitting duck. Um, and let's see, what's the other one I have as well? Status. I have. Oh yeah, there's a small boost to attack as well, which is which can be useful. But yeah, so um, battle armor has 16 attack. Um, this sword has 154. Small amount of green sharpness that quickly disappears. But now you know what I'm using and a few important details about the Plesioth. Uh, Plesioth. Um, Cephadrome. Sorry, he's almost identical to the Plesioth. So. Well, I'm getting confused here. Um, now move on to the attacks. This guy has a lot more. That's the hip check. Most horrible attack he does. If you're underneath him, you're more than likely going to get hit. So what you need to do is you need to roll to the side of him. Uh, he always does it to his left, I believe. So roll to his left. And you shouldn't get hit by it. Yeah, he always does it from his left to his right. So move, roll to his left if you can. 
otherwise you're not going to get away from it just because of his sheer size. Second attack we speak of is the tail spin because it's also quite annoying. Uh, if you're close to him just try and run with it, try and stay ahead of it because there's no point trying to run out of his range because he has a very long tail. Um, attack number three isn't really an attack but you just saw it there, if he steps on you he actually can hurt you. Um, a lot of big monsters have that ability. It's more evident with um, Cephadrone though, because he's always treading on you. He's always um, walking on a treadmill for some unforeseen reason. Um, another attack he does, when he's in the sand, he'll st uh, he'll come out of it, he'll do that. Uh, he'll spit sand in a semicircle in front of him. And he'll also sometimes jump out um, and spit sand in front of him as well. And one last attack that you need to know is when he jumps out and every now and then after he's jumped out he will snake forwards uh, it hurts and it also sends you flying um, which can leave you open to another attack which he normally ends up doing so if you can avoid that, do um, but I think that's pretty much it for the attacks um, yeah, I mean Cephadrome's annoying mainly, not because he's difficult but because he spends half of his time swimming around in the sand running away from you and he swims fast you can't keep up with him for whatever reason um, yeah so you spend a lot of time just endlessly chasing after this guy anyway, I've paintballed him now so very important because if you ever lose sight of him you just look at the pink dot aim yourself at it and there he is uh, yeah see there's the semicircle attacking him Oh yeah, and every now and then, if you hit his fin enough while he's inside, when you break it, it throws him out of the um, uh, out of the sand, and he spazzes out of it. It's very useful. Um, I'm out of no, I've got another whetstone. That's good. I think he might be leaving the area. It seems that way. When he leaves the area, he can either go to five or seven. If he goes to five, which it looks like he might be doing. Um, you've still got a while, a little bit of a fight on your hands. But if he goes to 7, he's going there to rest, which means he's nearly dead. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, important thing to know, I have a cat. I had a cat last time, but I didn't really introduce you. cat's name is Coca, if you hadn't noticed. Um, honestly, didn't notice, but... Um, I like hot chocolate, I like coffee, it was not the reason I picked the cat. The reason I picked the cat, oh actually, oh, doesn't usually go to 9, but I guess today it is. Today I learned. Um, no, no, it is going to 7, it goes through 9. It looks like it's going to rest, might be almost done with this guy. A lot quicker than I imagined. But um, the reason I chose that cat is because it doesn't attack. A weird choice, it might sound like, but if you want someone who will heal you, um, use armor flu and health flu and uh, let's crouch down so he doesn't see us and goes to bed um, then pick one that is a pacifist that does not attack it will tell you it says does not attack um, because then that way they tend to stay away from large monsters and don't get hurt as much and that way they don't disappear when you need them and so they can keep healing you and all is well. Uh, let's see. Shouldn't take too long. I think he's pretty much dead. It's a lot quicker than the first time I did it, I can tell you that much. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, hip check, watch out for. Um, yeah, I just staggered in there. We shouldn't be too long. Um, oh yeah, weakest part of his body is his stomach. I think I might have told you that. If I did, slap me. Um, you know, and then I'll be fine. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, also, again, guys, let me know how you like this series, um, if you like how it's going. Yeah, you see, fondness with the cat it doesn't like me too much right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. One Cephadrome dead. Took me uh, next to near to ten minutes, which isn't too bad, really. Um, I could have could have trapped him, but... Um, oh, yeah, nice tip. If the monster will go to sleep, when it does, wake it up, hit it three or four times and then set your trap don't set your trap immediately because when they go to sleep they do heal themselves slightly um, so it's always important to hit them a couple of times because you might end up wasting your trap and these trank bombs um, but yeah like I said if you guys like this series if you like um, 
the way I'm doing it, if there's something I could improve, which I'm sure there is, let me know in the comments, PM me, thumbs up, even thumbs down if you really want to, it's your choice. Um, but yeah, uh, Cephadrome drops, I should speak about those, it doesn't drop any Cephadrome items, so if you don't get any, don't worry, it just doesn't drop them, it drops Cephalos, the smaller version of items instead. And it also drops large monster bones, so if you're needing those for an upgrade, for like a great sword or a hammer, that's where you get them from. You get them from this guy. Um, can't really think of anything else to say about him. So you've got Cephalos Finn there, Cephalos Scale, Piscine Fangs, I don't know if that's the way to say it, uh, but that's what I say. Oh, and one attack I forgot to tell you about, because he didn't use it. Sometimes he will jump out of the sand and float over it, or sort of glide over it. If he does, don't go underneath him because he will paralyze you. And it also does a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the end of this very short video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next time we'll probably be going after the Congolala, giant pink monkey. So if you guys want to see that, um, then I'll see you next time. I've been Polar Bear 84. I'll see you again.